favorites, huh? All right, I can do favorites. So, what's your favorite? Your favorite favorites? Yeah, your favorite favorites. Hey, like uh, like my all-time favorites, like since I was born favorites. No, not your favorites since you were born. That would be impossible. Your favorites from 2016. Let's start with that, shall we? Okay, 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 I know, I know. I don't even have to give it any more thought. I know what's my favorite of 2016. Amira. 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 <laughs> Freaking Mira. While well, those girls hash out their quarrel, this video is going to be all about the best of makeup for the year 2016. These are the creme of the creme drugstore makeup products. So don't move and hit it! Oh, don't forget to like and... Far Drugstore Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth. I love this stuff. It gives me the extra hydration and the dewiness that I'm looking for in the winter cold months. Keeps my skin nice and fresh and it gives me medium to full coverage. Wish they would have a pump. Yeah, I love this stuff. It does the job. I use this religiously. Religiously. For concealer, I bought the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is some cool stuff. It's really nice. This is a very subtle concealer. It tends to go for very full coverage right under the eyes. This one is not full coverage, but I don't know. I tried and I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to like this. But I went out in the day with this and it gave me such a soft, fresh look. I mean, they all give me a fresh look. But something about this formula made me think back in my early 20s and I was like, if a concealer could do that, make me reminisce of my early 20s and I'm all about that life. <laughs> palette of the year for 2016 and that is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude. This is a wonderful palette. I don't tend to gravitate to a lot of drugstore palettes. I don't know, they just, there's nothing about them that made me want to buy them. But this one in particular, I did, and I'm so happy that I did. This is one that I grab all the time. If I have auditions, I use this. If I have on-camera work, I use this. Pigmentation on this is beautiful. Look at that, it's just there. It doesn't come off chalky. It's really rich, and there's no kickback with this. This is really, hands down, a great palette. For bronzer and contour, I love this one. This is the e.l.f. Contour Palette. This is a great little palette here. I love this. As you can tell, I hit pen. I sound so nasal, but it's because I'm so sick today. No, I haven't been doing coke. <laughs> It doesn't muddy up or bunch up on me like some of the bronzers do. The color is very natural. It's great quality. I was obsessed with the setting powder. This is the e.l.f. High Def Powder Setting Powder. I love this because it's translucent. It's non-detectable and I only use setting powder right under my eyes to set my concealer. It's like a photo finish right under your eyes because it doesn't kick up on me. This sets my concealer all day. I don't have to worry about it. I really, really think this is great product and I feel like it's underestimated. One of my favorite drugstore gel liner, L'Oreal, and this is their Lacquer Liner 24 Hours. It's been black. It's highly pigmented. It's rich. It's black. It's matte. It's just beautiful. Pencil eyeliner. This is my holy grail. By my and it's their liquid eye liner pencil. So it's like a liquid eyeliner but in a pencil format. This is so great. This is so pigmented. It lies on just like a liquid eyeliner. I just wish they would come out with more colors because they would make me happy. Favorite drugstore highlighter. The e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. 
this is just so gorgeous it's very silky it's very soft it's not powdery almost like it's so finely milled that it just feels silky it's what I'm wearing today right here you, I mean it's beautiful for glitters I have used and abused these glitters by NYX beautiful they're glittery they're sparkly they're jewel like and so awesome lastly in this video we're gonna go to lipsticks which is my favorite by NYX I was obsessed with two for the year one was their intense butter gloss this one is called toasted marshmallow and this is just a beautiful rosy type of pink and it just makes your lips look even extra pouty and gorgeous and it's just such a flattering color and then I also have chocolate crepe I mean this is just what it is straight up chocolate I love the formula on this and the smell on this is to die for. It's like vanilla cupcake. It just sits on your lips and makes it look beautiful. It's so pigmented. You would not know that I'm wearing a drugstore type of lip gloss. It's just that great. It's just that great. And then another formula that I loved from the next line is their suede. Love it because it has more of a matte finish but not exactly matte. I don't like liquid lipstick so this is the closest that I would get to it. Ones that I rocked the most for the year was Sandstorm and Stone Fox. One. Hit me up on all social media. It's all on my description box. You know the drill. I will catch you on my next video.